All right, people, welcome back. More vitamin Y. So today is Sunday, and that means that we are using u belt in sectors. So uh, hopefully this video goes well. Hopefully we have uh, some, uh, at least one good duel. I don't know. I can't wait for the whole video to be good because, you know, that may not happen. But at least one good duel, right? Give you guys a reason to come here to see some good dueling, hopefully. Or you guys come here to see me either get mad, get trolled, or just yell at my opponent because they don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh right. Yeah. Oh, I mean, all of the above sounds totally fine to me. Hmm. Well, this hand is interesting. Got Hornet and Hornet. Yeah. I was thinking about me dropping an Exactor and doing the whole Call of Haunted play, but I'll just do this right for right now. I was thinking about doing it, I was like, oh, I can always, you know, send like Dragonfly and then revive it and then equip on equip and start popping. But for right now, let me scout up my opponent. Yeah. I don't want to, if I'm going to get blind space, I want to get some bang for my buck if I get blind space. So, you know, I want to get a Terror Incarnate. Hmm. Okay. That's why I look like my opponent's just going to take it slow, I guess. I mean, if you want to take it slow, I don't mind taking it slow. Wow, Snatch Steel too. All right, look at this hand. Look at this hand. <laughs> yeah. So, just preparing my uh, channel for, you know, the hopefully a whole bunch of subscribers to come from Mega Capital G's channel, because that would be awesome. Uh, I did finish the recording. I did, I did, I decided not to do, I talked with Mega Capital G, I decided not to do the number generating thing, just because, you know, his viewers probably wouldn't like that. They'll probably be like, well, it's, you know, it's random match for both players, and, you know, it's just online. What does that matter, you know? It's not like it affects, you know, the outcomes of YCSs or anything like that, so... You know, as you can clearly see by the strength of the number generator right right here, right now. You know, so I decided to do a different video. I decided to go ahead and just do a discussion, uh, kind of like a tech talk about um, uh, uh, Swords of Dawn, you know, and how useful it could be in, like, Cleese and stuff. Oh, okay. It's this deck. Okay. I, I, thought, I thought maybe I was going against heroes, but apparently... All right, so I take double damage. So I said 600. I took 1,200. Oh, okay. Okay, I know what you're doing now. I know what you're doing now. I thought you were using heroes. Never mind. You're just using your big gold bulky defense deck. Like, okay. Okay, I see you now. I see what you's. I see what you do. I see you. Okay. So it's that deck that has really high defense and you know, he, he tries to get me to attack into his booty and stuff. I get it. I get it. He's trying to be Miss Bootylicious over here. I guess I'll just summon terror. Like, fuck it. Alright. So you go to 2,000, I go down to 12, so I take 800, but then the damage is doubled, so take 16. I'm like, fuck it. You want to get fucking bootylicious? You want to get fucking bootylicious? I'll show you bootylicious. I'll fucking summon terror. Terror. Yeah. No booty better than zero, because I can't read the battle and such. Yeah. Act. We'll go ahead and send Dragonfly, because we can always arrive it back. I wonder if it's like a magical cylinder. Eh. Let's see. No, he just took it. All right. Ah, uh, I'm done for now. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and just wipe you. So, if you just say, uh, fuck your monster that you triggered it for. Was it like a Millennium Shield or something? <laughs> yeah. The fuck can it possibly be? I get what you're doing. You're trying to use the power of your booty to defeat me. But sorry, I'm more of a titan. 
I was saying, I was like, he's like, either in Malaysia. I'm like, or is it Labyrinth Wall? <laughs> it's Labyrinth Wall. All right. 3,000 booty. Like, uh-uh. Get that shit out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> No exit, huh? All right. <laughs> it's an old ass card, hello? <laughs> so now what? Are you at a booty place? No more booty licious? Or are you gonna continue setting the booty? You keep on trying to set the booty, I'm gonna start popping the booty. No, he ain't done. He's like, no, I got more booty. I can't, I can't give up on the booty. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm more of a tits man myself, so. <laughs> you know, I've never, re never really been attracted to butts. I'm just like, you know, like, if, if I wanted to look at a butt, I mean, I got one myself. I mean, what's so sexy about that? You know, the person, they're like, oh, well, it's a girl's butt, but it, it but it does the same thing, you know? <laughs> you know? You poop out your butt, I poop out my butt, and it's not the sexiest thing. I don't know. I don't get it, you know? You know? Like barely, that's like one step above foot fetishes, in my opinion. You know, I'm just not a big fan. All right, seven you. Fact. Facts. Unequip. Pop. And I will go ahead and summon me an injector. Or sent a pre. Sure. And if and I'm going to upgrade into ultimate memory. All right, I, I was thinking like it's a D2 shield. All right, sent the effect. Like I said this guy's trying to get me with the booty, but I ain't about that booty. Effects. Uh, so. Destroyed. This happens simultaneously, and then Terror starts a separate chain at the end. But no, I equip, unequip, pop. The centipede searches while the, in the same chain as uh, Terror goes off. There we go. Oh, well, I know you don't have a high attack, so I guess I'll just crush you. Oh, you do have a high attack. 2,000. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I, is he automatically destroyed when I attack him? Is this card in the face of the past position destroy this card? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Do I destroy him automatically? Well, or does he destroy himself automatically, or do I ultimate nightmare kill him? Or well, attack you? It seems like you can't interrupt during the damage step, I'm not sure. Uh, now the question is, should I XC? I do not know why I don't have a mech quip. I should have mech quip in here, I don't know why I don't. Oh, I can give Ultimate some attack. No, I'll just go into Zen Mates. You know, I don't want to fuck up and have his big old booty come after me and shit. Go ahead. I said, I probably like this duel. Look at my snatch still, my, my broke charge. That's, I'm still, I'm still in the game. You now I still got my other centipede all ready to go. Anything else I want to do before I wrap this duel up? Now I'm just gonna summon, in, equip, unequip, pop, search, turn you to attack, turn you to attack, you attack, you die, attack, attack, game. Yeah, this is it. 
Ah, uh, sorry, sir. You're just too slow. You're too slow. Then I'll just go attack. I don't care if you destroy my set cards, not at all. Attack. Fact. You take thousand. You get your fact. I don't care. And uh, attack. That's game. You tried to booty me. You tried to be the booty warrior. You're like, I'm a warrior. <laughs> but no, no, I stopped you. <laughs> You're too slow. All right. Let's get one more duel in this video. Now, at first, I was like, oh, Clayman, all right, heroes, let's do it. And then all of a sudden, I saw him, and I'm like, oh, Booty Warrior deck. <laughs> but nah, I like, you see, I like this, and I want this. So we can do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. I'm like, okay, I see you want this the hard way. That booty. <laughs> Your name is Chris Hansen, but I call you Chris Hansen. I'm a warrior. <laughs> I'm gonna get me that booty. <laughs> oh my god, do you stop? I'm thinking about sending you Bell just because he might have sending you Bell because he just might have uh uh you know MST or something. But you know it might be better to just go ahead and send a set of Pete because. I already have the, I mean the Hornet, because I already have the Centipede in hand. I'll set, I'll set one. Yeah. I was thinking, I was like, maybe he has the MST. I don't know. Oh, Teller Knights. Oh, then I'm definitely going to lose. Well, the problem is, if he activates Nova right now, I'm fucked. It might be better to just go ahead and crash. You know, it's better to crash and get the Tell Knight off the field so he can't Nova you. <sighs> I'm gonna him. Okay. Teller Knights. Ah. Uh, I don't think I've ever beat Teller Knights with this deck. I'm not sure if I ever beat Teller Knights in general, actually. The deck just seems like it always just, you know, out resources me. Okay. Yeah, I say that's a that's a pretty big problem. Go ahead. I mean, that's fine. Cause you technically set it, then play it, which you can't do. But whatever. Mm-hmm. You have the Deneb? No, you got the Altair. Okay. Ugh. This is bad. <sighs> really? Alright. I'm at defeat. I didn't even know Rhapsody was still played like that. Oh, that sucks. Sucks that he took in top deck that MST, because I would have totally chained and ripped my fucking uh, uh, Hornet out of the grave, but nope, he top decked that MST. It's like, oh, damn it. <laughs> like, really? He is just blind, he just spaced the shit out of me. Hmm. Those two cards are, too, are so tempting, but the setup is more important right now. Alright, this is the last duel. Alright. Play cost. Okay. So you got Fed Valley? Is anybody really playing a Fed Valley? Alright, let's go ahead and just drop point. Alright, well, I got the Centipede play. 
I've got the Black Rose play with Math Chameleon. Do I run Yazzie in here? No, I don't. Hmm. Maybe I should. Bujins? Bujins? Oh, I have no idea. You didn't reveal anything. I mean, you're gonna grab the warning. Mm-hmm. Nigga, put your cards back. Put the cards back in the deck. Who the fuck pots and he just leaves the shit there? Put the cards back in the deck. Like, Paul, grab me a warning and just leave everything else there. Like, niggas. Yo. <sighs> Is there anything I want to do right now? No, I'm just gonna poke. Fuck it, my opponent's clearly playing an ass ton of back row right now, so fuck it. I said right now it's looking like Bujin's pot, lots of back row. And it looks like he didn't open up with the Yamada. be great if I can push his life point so low that he won't even be able to play um, uh, the solemn morning oh now he wants to play the mirror force all right lots of back row you want a warning it okay My opponent here is playing butt ton of back row. I don't even know what deck he's playing. I've just been saying back row, back row, back row, back row. Oh, okay. Oh, well, this is getting convenient then. Guaiba. How the fuck do I handle Guaiba? Especially since I know he has Book of Moon. That's the problem. I know he has Book of Moon. Just back row, 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 back row. Six seven. <sighs> so much back row. How is this fun? I can't play shit. Every time I do something, back row, back row, back row. And now you're just gonna summon a dinosaur going to Lagia Doka on top of the back row. <sighs> I wish Yu Gi Oh didn't have back row. I'd be so much, I'd be so much happier with Yu Gi Oh if it didn't have back row. No, I hate back row so much. At this point, this is pretty much game. Because all he has to do is book a room, run me over, summon a dinosaur, yep. Of course. Of course. Well, well, this isn't fun. Yeah, don't say, 
good luck have fun like don't don't ever say that I think good luck have fun is like uh, your deck is all back row it's fucking dinosaurs even your monsters are pseudo back rows nope you yeah, attack make a logia plus your back row I am at defeat that's it what's my next draw yep I'm at defeat I'm at defeat I can't I can't I can't face logia and back row that sure was fun no no I don't like Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> you know that that it's so to God once again back row back row back row back row back row back row back like there's too much back row in Yu-Gi-Oh for not having heavy shoulder or anything along those lines. There's way too much fucking back row. You know? It's just like, wow, all right. You know? No other card game has back row like Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, how do you literally just beat me by just back row? Back row, back row, back row, back row, back row, back row, back row. He got one fucking monster. That's really all you need. A Thunder King, back row. I win. Like, what's up with Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, that first duel was fine. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Like I said, Yu-Gi-Oh! is just something else, I swear. Like, why is there so much background right in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I just don't understand. <sighs> I'll see you guys tomorrow with, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.